inflation, interest rates, home values declining. What's happening in our real estate market? Hi, I'm Tom Daves with EXP Realty. And as we head down the home stretch of 2022 and the holiday season is upon us, we traditionally see a market slowdown. So let's dig into the key trends and see what's really happening. These numbers are for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. And on this first chart, it shows us the inventory. And as you can see, in light green, we saw a fractional decline in homes for sale from 3,696 homes for sale in September down to 3,553 homes for sale in October. This definitely has to do with the time of year, but also the uncertainty of what the future holds. In red is the pending sales. We saw a very slight 5% decrease from September's 1,490 pending homes to 1,414 in October, which again is seasonal and has much to do with the state of our current economy. This next chart shows the price per square foot, which we saw the sixth straight month of decline from 331 bucks a foot in September to $320 per square foot in October. This is to be expected as the values have been decelerating and even declining in some areas over the past few months. On this next graph, we have the list to sold ratio, which actually stayed at 95% from September to October. And down below in the orange, we see that the average days on the market has increased by another four days from September to October, taking homes on average 35 days to sell. And on this last chart, we see the month's worth of inventory. This chart shows us how long it would take to sell the existing inventory, which has increased from September 2.1 months to 2.6 in October. In looking at this chart, many might think that the market has already shifted, but remember, zero to three months worth of inventory is a seller's market, four to five months worth of inventory is a neutral market, and over five months worth of inventory is a buyer's market. So you can still see that we're in a strong seller's market. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, don't let the fearful headlines scare you. You still have lots of options available. Sellers are more willing to negotiate and you don't have to feel rushed when shopping for a home. Yes, interest rates are hovering around the 6 to 7% range, but there are several programs to help offset the higher rates even grants up to a 10% of the purchase price absolutely free. And what does this mean if you're a seller? We have seen sharp declines in home prices for the past six months. In fact, the median home price has dropped $75,000 since May, which is about three times the normal speed of seasonal softening. This doesn't mean that every property is literally worth 12% less, but it is sizable in most areas when looking at comps recently. So now, more than ever, it's important to listen to the, what the market is saying and putting your home in the best possible condition to separate your home from the competition. And pricing your home appropriately now is critical now more than ever. So because overpricing can cost you because you will have to have your home on the market longer, which you will end up losing money. With that being said, if you purchased your home in the past decade, I'm sure you still have a good amount of equity. Many of the home sellers that we've recently worked with actually have been surprised because they've been bombarded with all of the shock value clickbait headlines that they've been hearing in the news lately about values crashing. And we're still seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers looking to relocate here in the Sacramento area. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. 
Thanks. Have a great day.